Hello, beautiful souls. Hello. Once again, it is Solita, the Soul Leader. Today, I want to share with you a message that um, I've gotten from the Lord. Um, and this is still based on my life, my story, not um, really anyone else in particular. So when I do share my Bible verses, it's not me just telling you what to do. It's just me just sharing um, an experience in my life where this verse speaks life over it. Um, um, so while I'm on this journey, I'm going through this part of self-love, self-care, um, affirming myself each and every day, um, reading Bible verses, being mindful, giving prayer, gratitude, um, you know, I'm trying to, um, heal in a way that healed enough that I'm able to help other people. Now, I am still in that process, but the Lord told me that I can still do this even though I'm still a work in progress, you know, because there are people that are behind, people in the same space I'm in, and people who have already graduated completely, you know? You know, they're already on a whole nother level and heal from painful things in their life, right? And being as though that I know what I'm here to do, um, I'm just putting myself out on the line, you know, and um, just growing within and allowing myself to be vulnerable and reach out to somebody that don't even know me who may need somebody right now. So I was reading the book of James and I was reading um, James um, chapter two, verses one through four. And um those verses spoke to me because it reminded me about a time in my life where I would notice favoritism amongst others, you know, because I'm not easily swayed. I'm not easily, um, I'm not a follower, you know, and I've noticed that like even in jobs where it's though, if I'm not, um, that one that uses my looks to get what I want, or if I'm not, considered as attractive as how the world, you know, might consider other females or whatever, whatever the case is that, you know, certain people would show favoritisms. There's a number of reasons why, but we're not going to get into that. Um, but I can say I've seen it in work. I've seen it in school. It don't matter if it's middle, elementary, high school. It doesn't matter. I've seen it in friendships. I've seen it in family members. Um, just no matter where I go. And I never understood it until now, until I realized and been learning completely who I am and what I'm here to do. Um, and it has put in me in, a, um, well, I said in school, so teachers go under that category. But um, it put me in the headspace of always feeling like I'm not good enough or worthy or um, it's just always that but. You know, or always being used to do all the work because I wear multiple hats. Like, um, even at work, it, it, it's always somebody that seemed to, like, be jealous of. I don't know what they're jealous of, but I would not be jealous of me. There's nobody that should be jealous of anybody. Um, but for whatever reason, that one little thing that be in their mind that always try to do things like to keep me behind, because I've had that done with like a supervisor, I mean, a manager of a company, like to the point that I wanted something so bad and I was given that, you know, I wanted it bad because I it, it was more to help my family. And I got, I, it was given to me, you know, um, by the grace of God and you know, and still even being given that position, I was still being treated a certain way, you know, and I go off of energy. Like I could look straight at a person and just see everything that I need to see about them before you, you don't even have to open your mouth and I already know. And it's not even judging, you know, the uh, exterior like most people do. That's not what I, what I see when I look at people. I look at your, your spirit. <laughs> I look at what's in, inside of you that most people won't see. You know, people look at the outside and just be, oh, they're a good person. Oh, no, no, they're not. Just because they look good don't mean they're good. 
but it's put me in positions that um is really hurtful and especially as a child that is very hurtful when you already experienced that in the household you live in so um also james chapter 2 verses 5 through 9 when it speaks on um do not about not showing favoritism and loving your neighbor as you would love yourself um or you will be convicted by the law and 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 what I got from that was based off of um, how I know I am with people. Oh, y'all see my ashy hands. <laughs> um, how I am with people. You know, I treat people how I want to be treated, whether they good or bad people or not. Um, and I can't, and, and it's not something that I even try to help, nor do I want to help, you know, being kind how I am. Because I love all people. I see the beauty in life, and I've always just... No, even the per one person who might even assume that I'm mean and I'm this and I'm that, it's hard for me to, um, I just can't see myself not being kind. Let's just say that. And people take advantage of my kind heart. And I'm not saying that to like speak on myself, you know, so somebody can understand me. I just only try to give bits and pieces because some things are personal and I do have to leave some things for myself. Um, you know, it's like, for me, when you love thy neighbor as you would love yourself, that mean that it's not that you would take from yourself to give to them, but like if you have something and that person is in need, it's not about, oh, if you already like them or if you already know them, if you really can help, help, why not? You know, or um, not even if if you do know them and say that person is sick, well, why don't you nurse them? Especially if you off of work on these days, why not go over and nurse the person that's sick? But, you know, a normal person, you know, nowadays, they could know somebody in their family sick and really need help, but they could be off because they so tired and they, this my only day off. They're not going to go, you know, help, you know, or somebody can see somebody falling down in the middle of the street or laying on the ground. They're not going to, you know, check and see if they're OK. It's, it's a lot, a lot of things that we all do that it's not good, you know. Um, you know, it's important to give whether it's financially, whether it's just words of kindness, whether it's a helping hand. Always be able to give something of yourself that would lift the spirits of someone else because even you just saying hi to someone can make their day. Or just, you know, you found $10 in the gutter and you was probably about to go buy, buy a drink with it. But you seen a homeless person sitting there, take that $10 and give it to the homeless person. Because nine times out of 10, you giving it to them, they don't really have the means of getting that ten dollars as fast as you. They may not be as lucky to just walk outside and find ten dollars. You don't know. Everybody doesn't know each other's stories, but it doesn't hurt to treat somebody as you would treat yourself because a lot of us walk around and we mistreat people and we wondering why bad things happening in our life. It's happening because of the uh, energy that you give out. You can't be out here mistreating people and, um, let me unfold my arms, mistreating people and um, treating them any kind of way and then expecting the same things in return. It, life doesn't work that way. You know, people only be good to people that they're comfortable with. People are comfortable with people that won't call them out on their bull crap. You know, people be fake friends with each other just to be in competition with each other. You know, and that's not loving your neighbor. You should never envy your neighbor. You should never be jealous of your neighbor. You should never want to hurt your neighbor. You should want to love thy neighbor. You know, love them as you would love yourself. If people, the way that they love themselves, if they would pour some of that into other people, then these cups would not be so full of themselves. These cups would not be half empty. You know, um, it's just so much I learned on this journey that I even look back and take accountability for things I've said, things I have done. I, I haven't always had this mindset. And it, it and it pleases me to know that I please God in this way. Um it pleases me to even know that I can step out of my fear and make this video. 
um, like I said, before I even began making these videos, I was so caught up on my looks. And if I didn't look like today's standards and this and that, and what I have in my heart and what I have to give is far more important than my looks. It's far more important than um, people judging me. It's far more important than, um, you know, who may not like the things that I speak on. You know, um, James chapter 2 verses 12 to 13 speak it speaks about having uh, mercy triumphs over judgment. Um, and what I get from mercy triumphing over judgment is like, you know, um, people can look at a book, judge a book by its cover, right? And they'll judge you according to what they see on the outside, not knowing what you gone through, what you're going through, or where you're going, or where you've been. They don't know none of these things. They look at your clothes, and they feel like, oh, you beneath me. They look at your looks. Oh, you're not as cute as me, so let me be mean to you. Or they look at your job. Oh, you don't make six figures, so you beneath me. You know, everybody is so prideful, you know. But then when things don't go right in their life, they on their knees begging God for forgiveness. Oh, help me. You know, you want God to help you, but you just couldn't help your sister. You want God to help you, but you couldn't just help your mother. You want God to help you, but you just couldn't help a stranger. You want God to help you, but you couldn't help the lady next door. You get what I'm saying? It's like one thing I can say about myself is that I will always treat people how I want to be treated. Even if you be mean to me, there's nothing in me that desire to even give back that negativity. You know, I encourage you all to, to get on your self-love journey, your self-care journey, to understand yourself in a way and get one with God. Because, you know, a lot of the times we all sitting around a bunch of people who are not for us, a bunch of people who don't even love God, a bunch of people full of themselves, a bunch of people who don't even believe in change, a bunch of people who don't want nothing out of life, a bunch of people that only think about getting up, going to work and partying, drinking and having sex. And it's more to life than that. It's so much more to life than that. You know, having a nice, the best woman, the best car, the best job. That is all things you cannot take with you when it's your time to go. You know, you should want to be with people that feed your soul. You should want to be with people that will lead you and guide you on the right path, the straight path. You know, you should want to be with people that will affirm you, people that will hold you accountable, people that you can hold accountable who won't be upset with you for holding them accountable. You know, I encourage you all to love on yourselves because at one point in time, I didn't love on myself. And even when I did love on myself, I allowed myself to be tricked because I allowed myself to be open and not have any faith. Like I didn't. I wasn't walking with anybody. I was just there, just existing. And like, I encourage you to make a choice today to choose God for the simple fact that being on this path, I realized the beauty and everything that's coming my way. Um, and I'm not talking about materialistically, I'm talking about spiritually. Just being able to deal with people in a more humble way and not being so reckless, not being ruthless, not being this, not being um, negative, just exuding positivity at all times. Um, I pray that you all be blessed. I pray that somebody finds this video and that is helpful and insightful. Um, you know, I just pray that I'm able to continue to keep making these videos because I don't make it for any other purpose except for to reach back out to somebody. Um, because I know that there are people who suffer from mental illness and have hard times making friends and hard times really getting in tune with themselves. So as I go on this journey and I evolve, I, I just want to share it with somebody. I don't care if it's 10 people with thousand people or 500 doesn't matter if it's just one person but to know that this will always be there for somebody to look and find 
and and know that they're not alone and know that you're not the only one that shared thoughts or realize how you've always been in the back of your life and overlooked and mistreated for having a good heart um all I want to say is peace and blessings and be safe, beautiful souls. Until next time.